All right, let's talk about how you can get 4K textures in your scenes. So unfortunately, Photoshop isn't going to upscale your images. But what you can do is use a, a Gigapixel AI, use an AI program. So I've been using this for a couple of years now. And you can either browse for images to put in here to upscale them, or you can drag and drop. So for instance, here I can take this. If I right click and look at the properties, uh, details, it's only 600 by 600. So if I open it like this normally and zoom in, you can see all sorts of artifacts here and, and you know, lighter grays, darker grays. It's going to look shit if you zoom in. Unfortunately, there is a fold in this texture, which we're not going to be able to get rid of here. You'd have to do that in Photoshop. But if I just drag and drop it in here, you can see it's processing down here and then it updates. Basically, the AI models are here. It has six of them. You can select your output width here, um, pixels, inches, or centimeters. You can do scale if you want, and then you can just do 2x, 4x, 6x, or you can do it by width or height. So if I change this to 4000, then I'll get a 4K texture. You can zoom in a bit more. I press control and just the scroll wheel to see what's happening here. This is obviously the previous texture. This is the updated one with the AI. And these models are not the same. They will be slightly different. It takes a second here to update when you click on it. And it will remember them after it's updated. So you can just click through if you like quickly, let it process. And then you can look at the difference. I'm probably in a bit too close here. And you know, I want to look at details like here. Because this texture does have darknesses and lights, I don't necessarily want to have just smooth edges, but I also want to have pay attention to the details here on the fabric itself. Here you can see details, but it's also a bit blurry in places. And the whites here are a bit kind of, you know, blown out and so on, but that's fine. I like this one, but I'm not so sure. Like, I don't like this because it's too smooth with, you know, this is very obvious, but the rest is too smooth. It's like blurred. So it's between these three. Yeah, between these three. Uh, I like compressed, but I'm not going to go with it. I think I'm just going to go with standard for now. I often do just go with standard. Um, and here it says it can only upscale images up to 600% while preserving image quality. So that's just important to know. All right, so then you can just save it and save, and it will appear here. So I've already saved it before, so that's why it's got the one after it. Let me just delete this. Just going to rename this. OK, and that is how you upscale images. Now, if you want to get rid of stuff like this, you're going to need to go into Photoshop. If you want to get rid of creases in the fabric and if you want to make it seamless, um, you know, fortunately, you know, this flower is the same as this one and this is the same as this. So if you want to make it seamless, you can just match these up in Photoshop and, and work away. And also this line here, like this line is this line. It looks like it's twisted slightly. So it would take a bit of work in Photoshop, but you can easily make this seamless. All right. That's how you upgrade, upscale. And that's how I use 4K textures in all my textures in my renders.